Hi and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of Loan Management System Calculator. Okay, let me show you guys how it works. We here we have a reset button, and now let's enter new amount of loan. So let's say we're going for sixty-five thousand pounds and years of payment. One that is fifteen years at the interest rate of maybe five point five all we need to do is click on calculate loan and then we go at the end of the year at the end of paying this loan we would have paid ninety five thousand plus at the rate of five hundred and thirty one plus every year and we also have a receipt generator right there okay so what I will do now is take you guys straight into C sharp development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that now okay let's start a new program click on new project and here we select C sharp windows form application and let's give that a name and we'll call it CS loan let's save that okay now that the form is ready let's go to the property and set the size so I'm gonna go for 1368 by let's go for 700 there okay the next thing I'd like to do is to add some object onto my form there so let's come in here Let's go for yeah right here. Let's go for the for buttons. I'm gonna need a couple of those. Okay, now I also need my new labels. Then I'm going to need text box. Let's come down here. We yeah, add a text box one, two, three, four, five of those. Let's get this one. Let's paste that inside the group box. There. Then one radio button. No, one which text box right here. There. So what I will do now is to speed up the whole interface process and I'll get back to you guys okay this is how the design looks right now and i think this two i'm gonna replace this two with just a list box so or with a label really so let's delete those two now let's go back in here and grab a label All right and this label let me change the appearance auto size I'm going to change that to force change the color to white and border style I'm going to give that fixed 3d so that makes it look like a text box as well all right so what I'll now do is hold on to the control and just click and hold to copy there all right let's give this a name So that is the monthly payment and the second one I'm gonna call that LBL total payment right okay let's select all of these components 
select name and change the font size to something readable make it bold let's come to maybe 24 right yep and get rid of this the content in here okay now the next thing I want to do is to declare some variables so double click on yeah let's just double click on the form and right underneath here we're going to declare some variables so right there are the following global variable I intend to use I think maybe I should declare another one for the string variable okay for the string variable let's enter as follows there we go okay and I've also added more to to the double variable okay then that's fine now let's come back here and the next thing is let's double click on this exit, exit button and right here I'm going to declare as so follows let's say dialog results that will be I exit then let's say I exit equals message message box dot show they confirm if you want to exit all right so that's my message then here let's enter another one here and just call that it's going to be loan system loan system that's my title then here let's use message box message box button dot yes no and here put another comma come right down here and let's use message box icon dot question mark Let's try that again. Message box icon dot question. There. All right. So let's use an if statement to check the selection. If I exit equals dialog. No, it's going to be equals equals equal dialog results dot yes then application dot exit so that we take care of the exit so let's run it and see so if we click on exit there and that is fine okay now let's take care of the reset button here double click on the reset button I will be txt amount of loan dot clear then the other one is txt interest rate dot clear number of years dot square then we have lbl dot text equals square lbl total dot text equals clear as well then we have rtf receipt dot clear there so those are my lines of code that clears all of the components all right now let's see where are my global variable I have this here where are the other ones 
Oh, look at them here. Okay, I'll leave them there. Now, we now need to take care of the calculation. Double click on the calculation. Okay, guys, that is the loan or the lines of code you have seen. Those are the loan calculation that I've put together. Okay, you see the interest rate text box is then assigned into the interest rate variable and the interest rate variable itself is divided by 1000 and the content inside number of years is assigned into the variable number of years why the whatever value is entered into amount of loan is assigned into this variable here and then this is where I sum up everything if you look at it is amount of loan multiplied by monthly inter interest rate divided by one multi uh, minus one divided by mass dot power to the power of one plus monthly interest rates and number of years times 12 okay that will actually give you the if you work it out if you have a calculator try it out you see that will give you the monthly payment okay and that monthly payment is now assigned into the label lbl monthly payment and to get that of the total payment monthly payment multiplied by number of years times 12 now give you the total payment that's all there is to it and here I've just converted it all to pound sign and here pound sign as well okay so if I run it this is what you guys will see let's say we go for 80,000 pounds okay 80,000 pounds okay then interest rate as at the time of your loan is, is 5.8 and oh no oh, that's number of years number of years let's say that you pay let's make that 8 and interest rate let's say 5.8 all you then need to do is calculate generate a receipt for yourself and you can also reset exit no exit yes okay let's look at the generate receipt double click on that and this is how I've put together the receipt okay we just need to append it that's my title the title of my receipt as just an underline and backslash n means carriage return and these are my own text data from the text box text box text box label and label all the data from there and that's all there is to it guys so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial but just before I leave let me show you guys the lines of codes again exit those are the lines of code for exits. Variables declared. Resets. Lines of code for reset. And lines of code for reset. And finally, lines of code for the loan calculation itself from here up to here let's run it so let's say we're going for 150,000 pounds and number of years let's say we're going to set to for about 13 years of payment interest rate happens to be 17 or 7.5 and hit the 
learn calculator that's what you end up paying okay about 13 years and that's what happened 13 years okay that is how it's looking but supposing you want to reduce reduce the amount of years if you look at it maybe that will reduce this so let's play okay let's play it okay we can just enter it again and instead of 13 years let's say we go five years and the interest rate still 7.5 click on that and there you see your final payment total payment has reduced based on the number of years all right there's one thing that i've left out is to enter the heading there so let's close that and select the form let's come to the properties and here instead of form i'm going to enter as follows there so let's run it again and we we'll call it the end of the program so let's go for hundred and eighty thousand pounds now and number of years let's say that is uh, let's go for six years and interest rate happens to be 9.5 there okay guys i suppose you enjoy the program and with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial you all have a nice day now and bye for now